What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Andy, and today we are finally back with another live trading video. Yes, yes, it's been a while, but we're finally back, and I will explain myself here in a second, but man, does it feel good. Um, life has changed a little bit, so that's good too, but the recording you guys are about to see today was from October 2nd, the Monday of this week's live trade, which, spoiler alert, I made over like $400 that day, which was sick. Trades are incredible too. I'll give you guys a raw version of this morning session so you know exactly what I was going through in this trade, what my plan was, etc. But before we do, just want to get into kind of where I've been really. So obviously since like the middle of summer, I haven't been really posting videos. And I guess that was for two reasons was I got a real life job now to supplement the income, which is great. And that was a big change. So I was trying to adjust to that. And obviously the schedule is just different. So that was that. And at the time during the summer, I don't know if you guys were trading around this time, but the trading was so bad. I mean, the seasonality really kicked in this year, unlike the last couple of years, because the market was kind of going crazy. But yeah, I was trying to trade my setups and they weren't working. So I was like, you know what? I'm fed up with trading. I'm just going to stop because I got other things to worry about. So I kind of took a vacation off of YouTube, which I do have to say, guys, I do apologize for that. I should have let you know, but I thought I could just upload some shorts here and there and kind of keep the channel alive. But there were literally no good trades to be had. There were a couple, obviously, which I've, I've shown on the channel, but now the shorts are heating up though. So check them out. The recent ones have been great. And you guys have been killing it on the views and likes. So I really appreciate it. But yeah, that's kind of where I was at. I took like a mini vacation, told myself I'm going to slowly get back into trading. And then September rolled around. I started recording well like mid-september i started recording just a screen which i've uploaded a few shorts from that time i told myself all right trading is back i like the setups everything looks like a normal freaking market i'm gonna plan to record the screen and the voice of the first trading day of october so that's exactly what i did and it was an insane day believe it or not guys i'm recording this today october 6th the whole week was green which was incredible but um i'll show you guys the screenshots right now as you can see the pnl was kind of small which shouldn't matter but for youtube it's like you guys know what i mean to catch the views you know higher pnl which stinks so that's a lot of learning lessons in there but that's the way it is which brings me to another point if you guys are interested i'm setting up something in the future to where i can put my raw uncut uncensored versions of the morning's trading session into an archive for you guys so you guys can see it and just watch it for whatever you guys want and uh, yeah i guess this is uh this is another opportunity to say another spoiler which is i don't know when exactly but in the coming few months i'll say that the andy's at the money discord server will be released which is sick i'm already working on it for you guys yeah obviously now schedules changed but stay tuned for updates in the future so i think enough talking you guys deserve some trading content again thanks you guys so much for sticking with me drop a like for the first video back hit the sub button if you guys are new and let me know in the comments what you guys thought of today's trades now let's get into it all right fellas first day back trying to record it is october 2nd as you can see right here just a minute before the bell good to be back just been kind of easing into the trading it's been going well so anyway tesla really moving down after the delivery numbers but making a strong move back upside let's see what happens let's get it and we are open one thing i'm also looking at is costco really really nice move so far could it have a three bar play over that 570 level big level on the weekly as well let's see what happens tesla also interesting opening at this key 244 level i think it gap fills and we can maybe move back down that could possibly be a trade yep yeah it's gonna hit Okay, Tesla kind of reversing off of this level. Interesting. Does it maybe play into the downside? That could be a possibility. I like the structure for an ORB. I'll try it out. I'm in. I like the movement. Closes under the nine. That's beautiful. This candle doesn't have a wick, so it needs to reverse. There we go. There's a the reverse. Go red. Let's get some more follow through here. Beautiful. We're going to take two off just because I feel like the movement isn't that strong this morning. But so far, great move. Let's get that ORB. Sell, sell, sell. Tesla's doing this also in a strong market. Really nice candle there. I'm taking two off, but I don't like that bounce. See if we could print lower. Nice, nice. Remember, this is that big level, too. Good candle, actually. Holy shit. Got to hold lower. I don't like that close. Maybe you could push more. Okay. Got to push lower here. If not, I'm going to take it off. 
there's a bounce on this candle. I'm taking it off. Oh, there's a surge. Nice. Oh. Yep, that's it. Taking that off. $130 trade. Not so bad. Had to take that off. That was clear. Oh, Amazon with a clear W pattern here. High of the run. Pull back candle, candle over, candle fail. This one's a candle under, a candle fail. This one's a breakout candle. So, but look, boom, breakout candle. What did I say? Clear. That's the power of the W, guys. I made so many videos on the W, by the way. So just look up and he's at the money W pattern. You guys could have taken that just for looking at it for a second. I mean, I just switched to Amazon and I saw, oh, that's a W. Love to see it though. Oh, what, what was I looking at? I was looking at uh, Microsoft. Yeah. Bounce off of that VWAP trying to get that bear, that bull flag going. Not so bad, but it might just be better to play like the Spy or NASDAQ, to be honest. I like the QQQs. All right, we tried off of VWAP. We take that. So use the context of Microsoft and all those stocks and adjust it to the QQQ. QQQ looks much stronger than the Spy. I'm happy taking this. So let's see what we can do. Really good structure. Same structure as Microsoft. That's why I took it. Again, told you guys that inverse head and shoulders, kind of. You can see that. Oh, we just got a big snap at 10 o'clock. I don't know for what. And to the upside, she goes. What is going on? I don't mind, though. Holy crap. What a move. What a move. That 10 o'clock snap, bro. It's powerful. On a Monday, though, you don't see that a lot. So I'll sell three on the break of high a day if we do that. Oh, my goodness. Look at this trade, guys. I'm going to take three off there. I did not expect this, to be honest. I did not expect that whatsoever. But that just goes to show, man, the market is crazy. Holy crap. What a day this turned out. What a day this turned out to be. Let me just see out of curiosity. Did Microsoft go up? Look at that Microsoft move. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I read that well. Uh, I don't know what would have been a better trade, QQQ or Microsoft, but I don't care. At least we caught one. I don't want a rejection here. Can we go up again? Nice. We just formed a new hourly candle. We got above the previous one, so I don't want to fail that. What the heck happened? Is there news? Uh, not at all. Oh, construction spending. Okay, ISM menu. Okay, we did get some numbers. Never mind. Nice. That's it. What a move, Nasdaq. Let's go. I'll just probably start joining the ask in the last three here. Take one there. Got one there out. Got one out there. It's a better way of saying it. Here we go, though. Is there a flag break potential? Maybe. How far do we have to get? Oh, not far at all. Yeah, we can hit that. We can hit that for sure. What a move on the NASDAQ. There we go. Making that move higher. Let's put this on my five minute chart. QQQ getting there. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. What a freaking move, guys. That was crazy. I did not expect that at all. I also should, I got lucky though. I should have known that there was numbers coming. So, really nice move though. No wick on this candle that should reverse. So, I'm not going to sell here. I know that has to reverse. And just like that. Perfect. See, guys, knowing, knowing candlestick formation is so important in trading. Like, you can catch little things like the W pattern I showed earlier. Like, seeing wicks. Like, the candles are so important. Like, if you think about it, it paints the picture for the entire stock. I mean, it's... You use candlesticks to base everything off of your trades. Anyway, QQQ is doing nice here. New 5-minute just opened. Let's see if we can get that extension to our trend line here. Good 
Good candle there. Looks like a candle under a candle fail. Not anymore. I know we're just going to take it off there. All right. We're going to take it off there. Whoa. What a nice day that turned out, guys. $431 in uh, basically just a half hour of trading. Incredible. Wow, really good instincts there. I mean, I just saw the decent bounce potential that Q's had there. I mean, everything looked like it needed another leg higher. Like all the stocks I looked at were not hitting resistance. Everything looked like it was trying to set up for another move higher. Look at that. NVIDIA off of the VWAP as well. Just kind of that grind higher here. And uh, yeah, really nice day. 431 on a Monday. Cannot complain, man. Really happy about that. Especially the first day of recording, which is sick. Here we are, guys. Glad to be back. Hope you guys learned something in this video as well. But yeah, fire day. See you guys later.